recently I did a video on my minimalist eight food diet and you guys wanted to see more behind the scenes of my meal prepping, my grocery haul, meals that we're eating throughout the week. I'm Jackie welcome to my channel enjoying life's journey and welcome to my kitchen so I want to start off by showing you my grocery haul which includes those eight foods that I mentioned and then I'm going to show you how I prep all of my meals for the week except for my dinners uh, basically dinner is the only meal that I need to make for myself uh, during the week and I say for myself because this is my uh, nutrition plan. My husband and my daughters do eat other things that I do not eat. Uh, they do not really follow the exact nutrition plan I guess that you that I'm following and that's one thing I want to let you guys know like if you are trying to do something for yourself you're gonna have to just be committed and stick to your guns and don't try to force anyone around you to do the same thing you know it's up to us to take care of our own body so if we feel we do better on certain foods then it's our responsibility to make sure that we have those foods on hand and if for me what really helps me to get, to stay on track of what I want to eat and not dip into my husband or my, my daughter's food is to meal prep most of my meals. Now the dinners that we make, we, you know, we eat as basically a family uh, and then the girls do eat some of the other things that I have here. Um, some of the things that another one may not eat, they kind of have their own uh, diet if you will. My husband pretty much sticks to like chicken and rice. That's pretty much what he eats. He's Filipino so it's just uh, the diet that he's used to. Uh, and then the girls do eat some grain. I've gradually, um, if you watch the video where I mentioned my eight, the eight foods that I eat, I mentioned that I eat a grain-free, low-carb nutrition plan. I stay away from those things simply because they're really not that great for you. Uh, so what I've been doing with my girls, you know, they do like cereal, uh, so sometimes I try to transition them or I try to switch out their cereal for fruit just so, yes, they're both sugar, but maybe, uh, you know, the, the fruit is going to have some more added vitamins or nutrients maybe that the cereal doesn't have in it. So that's enough spiel about that. that. But let's jump in and I'll show you what I buy. Um, I shop at Walmart. I'm not really big right now into worrying about if it's organic, grass-fed, free-range, any of that, um, simply because we are still kind of on a tighter food budget at the moment. Uh, and honestly, I did try, I ate at Whole Foods for an entire month, and I didn't find, my body wasn't really responding any differently to those foods versus these foods, and really the, one of the main reasons the Primal Blueprint says to stay away from or try to go towards the grass fed and stuff is because we ultimately are what we eat and therefore we are what our food eats. So if, you know, we're eating grass fed meats or, you know, things like that, it's kind of help us stay away from the grains that we've been trying to stay away from. But all right, so let's uh, jump in. We'll see what I got over here. Like I said, I shop um, at Walmart, so you'll see a lot of the great value um, type brands here. Eggs, so we buy this 60, we buy a box of 60 eggs and this will actually last my husband and I two weeks. Um, so we just buy the, the 60 eggs. Um, it's only like like three something or four something. It's super cheap. Uh, and then the chicken I have for the week, I basically have you know two pounds of chicken breast um, and this, myself, I only eat when I eat my uh, chicken at, if I have chicken for lunch or dinner, I'm only eating anywhere from two to three ounces. So this is enough chicken for myself and almost my husband, not quite. Um, need like maybe an extra pound of that. Then I have cottage cheese. I buy the 4% uh, large curd and I buy this big container because this is um, going to last me for six days. Now the food prep I do is for six days when I, when I do it. And then I get these dark chocolate covered almonds. I mentioned that dark chocolate was one of my items and that nuts were one of my items. So I really have been liking these um, just combined together. It's really nice. Uh, and then I get a big thing of strawberries, and this will be enough for me for the six days. 
This week I decided to go with a frozen vegetable, the California blend. So it has the carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. I've already, this one actually is left, this, this bag will last me two weeks, so this is actually what's left from last week's amount, so I didn't actually have to buy that this week. Uh, and then I ended up buying um, some red potatoes uh, because I did want to add it into my egg. I'm going to make my egg bake today. You'll see that. I did want to, um, so I got petite red potatoes. I did want to add that in my egg bake, and my husband and I decided one night we were going to do um, chicken with gravy, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to make mashed potatoes when we do that because I really like mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> with As far as the vegetables, like I was mentioning, my girls like different things. So Arcadia really likes carrots and Elsa likes broccoli. So I just get the mixed and then once it's cooked, I can separate out um, what they'll eat. Uh, and then I just get one of these uh, Fiesta blends of cheese. Sometimes I will buy the small pieces of cheese depending on if I want cottage cheese that week or not. Uh, and then this, I just cook with butter, so I don't cook with oil or anything, I just cook with this pure Irish butter. So I wanted to just share that with you guys, so I basically cook, if I'm cooking uh, my vegetables, I always put butter on my vegetables. In my egg bake, I'm actually going to use this instead of oil on the bottom of the pan, I'll use that. And then I wanted to show you my the tea that I get, because I mentioned I drink herbal tea, so I have the Sleepy Time Herbal Tea. And I don't drink this every day, I might drink it only a few times a week, but it's something if I want something different, because I primarily just drink water. But So that's what I, what I have. So I know some of you are going to say, oh, well, that's kind of still processed food. Some of this could be considered processed food, obviously, the cheese and, and stuff like that. Um, and some of you, if, if you don't do well with dairy, then you're not going to eat dairy. Uh, the Primal Blueprint, they say to try to minimize dairy or to go with more of like the heavy creams and things like that. I personally, I just, I like cheese and I do okay, um, like I do fine with it, so I, I incorporate it into my diet. So again, everyone's going to be different. I mentioned this last time, is really just, you're going to have to um, just test out different foods and see what works for you. Uh, so now I just want to show you the containers that I have that I'm going to be using for my meal prepping. So these are the containers I have for my food for the week. And again, this is just for my personal food. What I eat costs me, um, if you average out, like I mentioned, I have a few things that last me two weeks that I buy. But basically, if I were to average out how much something costs and you know divide it up to my six days or whatever, I'm eat, I'm spending anywhere from three to four dollars a day um, and that's for myself. So you could basically replicate this for anybody else just you know basically your whole family could eat for basically three three dollars a day if they are all eating the same thing. So I got these, I actually got this um, at Goodwill for like 50 cents I think. So it's just for my deviled eggs I'm going to be making. I got this at Walmart. So this is what I do. I fill this every day with water and that's about six, it's about um, six glasses of water. So that's what I try to eat or what I try to drink every single day. Uh, and then I have these containers I got at Walmart as well. So I really like this one here. It's, they said it was like a yogurt container, but what I do is I actually use the top for my cottage cheese, which is a, roughly a half a cup, and then I fill the bottom with my strawberries, which is roughly a cup. So um, again, I have enough for six days. This, once my egg bake is done, I will be um, dividing them up into the six days. And then I divide up my chocolate covered almonds into here. I do divide up the, I do divide these up for my servings, uh, just because Elsa and Ricky do like these as well. So I don't want to, um, sometimes they'll go crazy and they'll eat like the whole bag and then I don't have mine. Um, so I'm gonna, I do separate mine out. Uh, but yeah, so basically what am I making today? So the chicken will go back in the fridge because I, like I said, I do not meal prep my chicken. I really do not, I, I do not like leftover chicken. Um, reheating it, it's just, it doesn't taste good to me. It's weird. Um, I don't know, there's something about it. I, I try it. If I do have leftover chicken, then I eat it cold on top of a salad if I wanted to do that. Um, I didn't buy anything um, for salads this week. Uh, so I'm going to put the chicken back in, but I'm going to be making my hard boiled eggs. I'm going to be making my egg, I call it an egg bake, but it's basically like an omelet in the oven. And then I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be putting together my cottage cheese and strawberries. 
um, and then my nuts. So basically those are my three meals uh, that are set for, you know, for the week. And then like I mentioned, every night I would just be cooking the chicken and vegetables, super easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill up my water. I fill this up every morning and I wanna have this ready so I can be drinking it while I'm actually uh, meal prepping. So I don't fill it all the way to the top. I fill it to about here just because for this uh, is cracked and so it starts leaking right here. So again, this is a roughly, roughly six glasses of water. For my body size, um, everyone always says eight. You need eight glasses of water. That's not necessarily true. It's, it's based on your body size. Uh, so for my body size, I need um, minimum five glasses. But that's also, that just means five um, things of liquid. So your food has, you know, a lot of your food is going to have some type of water in it as well. So usually I stick to at least this, which so that's usually plenty enough for me. And then if I want tea, I have that in addition to the water. But I'm going to put this in the fridge. So my girls drink milk. There's still other things that they do. All right. So because I'm going to be cooking um, some boiled eggs and my bake, I have everything kind of out, ready to go, and uh, we'll go ahead and start prepping those because those are things that um, are, need to be cooked. Put lots of salt in there, that's what I'm doing. My husband says put a lot of salt. Okay, so I'm gonna get that boiling. Still have some eggs left from our last 60, um, so I'm gonna use those first. We had uh, four eggs left. So, so I've been boiling eggs, you know, every week, and <laughs> I keep trying different ways of doing it because sometimes, like, the shell like doesn't come off very easily. So I'm just, I'm trying. I'm just gonna put it in a little more, um, a little longer. Last time I did a little bit of vinegar in there, and it actually, I think they peeled a little bit better. So maybe I'll put a little bit of vinegar in there. I don't know. Okay, so these are for boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and start the oven. I'm gonna set it for 350. So that can start getting all boiled. Uh, and we're gonna be doing 12 eggs in my egg bake. So I'm gonna put these over here. And um, now I can put the box of eggs back in the fridge. Like I mentioned, this is, I'm just prepping food for myself because I'm trying to eat a certain way and I don't want uh, to, things to interfere with the way I want to eat. If I, if my husband wants some of my egg bake, then of course I share it with him and then I end up, you know, I won't have that for six days. I'll have it for three days. So it kind of just, it depends on how it goes. My, my oldest daughter doesn't like eggs. Uh, you know, if my youngest, if she does want some of it as well, then I share it. I obviously share it with them, but for the most part, um, they don't really mess with the food. Uh, I thought it was really good. Actually, uh, Mina actually, Mina from the Universe Guru actually brought up a really good point. She said, think of your kitchen and your pantry as if you have like if it's a co-working space, as if you have co-workers. Because if you're at work, you're not going to touch other people's food. So kind of, you know, if you have people who eat different things than you, then think of it like that. It's a shared space, and that's not necessarily your food to eat or their food to eat. Obviously, your kids are just going to eat. They want to eat what you're eating, usually. Uh, but yeah, so let's get, uh, I'm going to get the egg bake going. The reason I do how many eggs I do is I basically do like two eggs at a time, like for my meals. So my egg bake, I know this will, this makes me six servings, that's why I want to do 12 eggs, that way I have basically two eggs in each serving. So as far as the potatoes, I don't want to go, because I am low carb, I don't want to do too many. Uh, and I don't do potatoes every week, like I mentioned, I, I do them maybe one week out of the month, so this is the that week that I want to uh, have potatoes, so I'm going to splurge here. So I'm going to do, let's see, so serving size is one potato, and that's 26 grams. So I'm gonna do half of that. So I'm only gonna do three potatoes, which will make my six servings. Okay. Because I'm low carb. I'm trying. I stay. I try. I stay between 50 to 100 carbs per day. And on the on the weekend, I do eat whatever. So I'll end up eating like 150 or more on the weekend um, sometimes. But during the week, I stick to 50 or 100 carbs grams of carbs per day. So I, a lot of times with these type of items and like the nuts and stuff, I end up dividing 
the servings, the recommended serving size on the back, I end up dividing it in half. Good, so I'm going to lower these into here. So I'm going to set my timer, two minutes, and then I'm going to take it off of the heat. It's preheated. I'm just going to rinse off my potatoes. I'm going to slice these bad boys up. I don't really like the end, these little end pieces here, so I'm going to get those off real quick. I just kind of thinly slice them. All right, timer went off, so I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the heat. Cover it. I'm gonna move it over off this heat. Like I guess I don't use oil. I just use butter. It's my personal preference. I'm gonna crack all these eggs right into here. Okay, 12 eggs. Last one. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hands. Okay, pretty good. All right, we're gonna do our cheese. I do about a cup of cheese in there. Honestly, I don't measure it out. I just do um, probably like two really good handfuls of it. See, like just. So about half, probably like half of this. And then towards the end, sometimes I'll put it on there and I'll melt it on the top. Okay, and we're gonna put our potatoes in. I just lay them like that. Nothing fancy, guys. Nothing fancy. Do this like every bite pretty much has like one potato in it. Cooking that at 350 for about 30 minutes. Moving on to our strawberries. I put things away um, that are like melting because it's pretty hot. So like the butter and the cheese I'm going to put away real quick. And I actually have another smaller cottage cheese because this one is actually only half full. So I have these out first. Um, real quick because it's super easy. I got these, you know, these small ones. So I'm just going to do the nuts real quick and I get these in the fridge just so the chocolate doesn't melt. In Arizona, everything melts out crazy. So the rest are here for Ricky and my youngest daughter who likes them, but I at least have mine out of the way. Sometimes I'll get cashews in addition um, if I'm feeling like I want some more um, protein and stuff like that. I'll end up doing, I'll end up doing, um, I'll mix cashews in with these. It's kind of like that chocolate craving that you get. This is roughly half a cup, so I do half a cup of cheese and I do roughly a cup of strawberries that's just for my personal size that's what works for me and that ends up making me six servings for the week so we'll get started with that so roughly three spoonfuls is what works One thing I want you guys to understand, like when you're eating grain free and you're kind of, you cut out all that sugar, you tend to not have to, you don't really need to eat as much. You don't feel hungry all the time. When you're eating all that, sh all that sugar and those grains, like it, it just wears off so fast and you just feel hungry like almost all the time. Like this, like I don't feel hungry. Uh, I also do what's called intermittent fasting or however you say that. Uh, so it's already, okay, so it's already, it's like 
and I've been up since about 6.30 and I haven't ate yet. Like I just, I don't eat right when I wake up. My husband, the funny thing is like during the week when he goes to work, he doesn't eat like almost until he gets home. Like that's just how he is. But on the weekend, like the moment he wakes up, he's like, do you want me to make you breakfast? And I'm like, that's nice of you, but no, like I don't eat for a couple hours. Like I just, I don't. I've always been like that. I've never been one, I've always been like get up, go, get stuff done, and I don't even eat till later. So it does help with your appetite, but then also by not eating so much sugar, it definitely helps with your appetite as well. So that's just, you know, a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, I could never survive off of what you're eating, but that's why. So I only eat roughly those four meals, and then I'm only 4'11", I've mentioned this in another video. So I'm short. I'm a shorty short. <laughs> And I'm 35 now, my birthday was the other day, so uh, I guess you could say well, your metabolism slows down, who knows. So I just have these. So obviously you don't have to prep, you know, cutting your fruit, and dividing up your stuff, um, obviously, you know. But I like to do it simply because of the fact that there's gonna be days like I don't feel like cutting the strawberries or I don't, you know, so it's, I might not end up eating them because I don't feel like doing it. So this way I already have them ready to go. So real quick, I'm gonna clean up my mess here and then I'm gonna start making my double eggs. It's a mess here. So I have all that stuff. Um, if you guys have compost pile, then that's, this could go right in your compost pile. If I had ice, I would uh, put these in ice, but I don't have any ice right now. Hey, is this the same thing you made before? Mm -hmm. Egg bake's done! So there's my egg bake. I'll let that cool off while we work on the deviled eggs, but then I'm just going to cut it into six pieces and it will go in these. And then when I eat them, I usually put like salsa and sour cream on top of it. Never fails. I end up getting one egg that's totally destroyed. <laughs> In half. Because I made my eggs and it was really fun to make it. I feel mm -hmm. like I like cooking too. That's good. There you go. They don't have to look pretty, you guys, but <laughs> That's how it they taste good. Time to cut up the egg Hi. bacon. So I'm gonna let those cool off. Now that they're portioned out, I'm let them cool off uh, before I put the lids on. The other eggs that are boiled in there. Yeah. And then I'm gonna clean up and I'll be done cooking. Uh, so really, it's not, it doesn't take that long. There's meal prep for the week. So I have basically strawberries and cottage cheese that I'll eat as one meal. I have dark chocolate covered almonds that I snack on whenever I want them. I have an egg potato cheese bake. And then I have the option of doing a deviled egg or a hard boiled egg with salsa. Those are the three meals that I have prepped uh, for me for the entire week. And again, uh, every night I basically will do chicken and vegetables. So if I just want to snack on like one deviled egg here or a hard boiled egg here, uh, I can, or I can actually eat, you know, two at a time. It's just kind of how, what I'm feeling like. 
Uh, but basically, I rotate between the egg bake and the strawberries and cottage cheese as my breakfast. So whatever I feel like, if I feel like I need a heartier breakfast, then I will go to the eggs for breakfast. Otherwise, I will do the strawberry cottage cheese and then I just eat the other one uh, for lunch. And um, I do intermittent fasting so I don't actually eat until after 10 o'clock in the morning and I've been up since about 6.30. So, alright.